Years of time have come and gone Since I first heard it told How Jesus will come again someday If back then it seemed so real Then I can't help but feel How much closer his coming is today. Signs of the time are everywhere. And there's a brand new feeling in the air. Keep your eye upon the eastern sky. Most high God, in the name of the eternal God, Jesus Christ, our returning King of kings and Lord of lords, greetings, greetings to my family members, greetings to my friends, my friends of friends, Christians, Catholics, all seed of Abraham, Muslims, Messianic Jews, Orthodox Jews, Hebrews, Hebrew Israelites, non-believers and my pathfinders greetings you are listening to the signalman broadcast i am daniel signalman your host at the signalman broadcast we point everyone to the way the truth and the life which is jesus christ and the evidence and the signs, we show the evidence and the signs of his soon and eminent return. Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but it is going to us words not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. We'd like to thank everyone uh, for viewing today. Today, uh, we're looking at Daniel chapter seven. So I encourage you to turn to Daniel chapter seven. and we're going to read starting with verse 15. In the, in the last episode, um, we started from 1 and we went to about 15. Or we may have stopped at 14. This time we're going to read from about 15 until the end. Then I'll have some little comments concerning the matter. But that, yes, this is a very thick vision. And so I want to take out, I want us to take our time and go through it and not to rush it. All right. So we go to uh, Daniel 15 and it reads, let me adjust the camera a little bit. I apologize. Okay. I apologize. And it reads, um, Daniel was greedy. I, Daniel, was grieved in my spirit in the midst of my body, and the visions of my head troubled me. I came near unto, one second, I came near unto one of them that stood by me, and I asked him the truth of all this. So he told me, and made me to know the interpretation of the things. These beasts, which are four, are four kings, which shall rise out of the earth. Pay attention. Four kings which shall rise out of the earth. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. 
then I would know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all others, exceedingly dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass, which devoured, breaketh in pieces and stamped the residue with his feet. I am reading from the King James Version. And of the 10 horns that were in his head and of the other which came up and before whom three fell, even of that horn that had eyes and a mouth that spake very great things, whose look were more still than his fellows. I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Pay attention to verse 21. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he said, the four beasts shall be four kingdoms upon the earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it in pieces, break it in pieces. And the 10 horns out of the, this kingdom are 10 kings that shall arise and another shall arise after them and he shall be diverse from the first and subdue three kings. He shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And there shall be given into his hands until a time and times and dividing of time. But judgment shall sit. And they that, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As for me, Daniel, my, cogit my cogitations much troubled me and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Okay, so I read through it and there's some verses we want to look at. We won't cover everything today, but we wanna look at some verses, okay? Um, as you go back up to verse, uh, 17 and what Daniel sees, he immediately sees four or, or the interpretation rather, right? He's given the interpretation and the interpretation is that these beasts represent four kings. Four kings means four types of government, four types of kingdoms. Kingdoms have laws and kings give laws and they have systems or a government system that they plan to rule by, okay? That hasn't changed. From Babylon until now, every kingdom has or every country has a government and has a system of laws that they expect their citizens to abide by okay so same as it is today in the united states here in the united states we have a system of laws that cause or you know just or unjust their system of laws and we have to follow, okay? All right, so that's 17. Um, immediately after 17, after announcing, hey, 
these are the four four kingdoms coming up it says but but before anything else is said it says but the saints of the most high shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever even forever and forever saints of the kingdom who are the saints of the kingdom to them gave he power to be called the sons and daughters of god go check out first john not first john but john chapter one around verse 12. those that accept jesus christ as lord and savior accept him as god son fully man fully god god's son they are the ones that possess the kingdom now if you want me to break down that part please like and subscribe and leave the comments in the comment section to explain how those of us who accept jesus christ as lord and savior forgive me Paul. those of us that accept jesus christ as lord and savior they are the saints the ones that possess the kingdom forever and ever if you want me to explain how john chapter one applies to verse 17 i'll explain it in length later but Please like and subscribe and put it in the comments. That way we can have a discussion about it and I can make my notes and do my research. All right. Then Daniel had the desire to also know about the great beast, that final beast. Now pay attention to the final beast. It has, it's tremendously strong. It has many things going on with it, right? And he wanted to know more about the three horns that off and the one that took over. And that one that took over spoke blasphemy against the God of heaven. Now remember, the also represent kingdoms. But this beast that came out of the earth represented a kingdom. And so this beast now has 10 kings. And after the 10 kings come, one is uprooted and that one looks like, has eyes of a man, has mouth of a man, and says great things against the God of heaven. So that's verse 20, all right? Not only does he, it say, great things against the God of heaven, but in uh, 21, it wears out the saints. It wears them out and it prevails against them. So those of us who call ourselves children of the most high God, we are going to experience persecution wear out the saints and prevail against them represent persecution death whether it be by lions eating you burning you a firing squad once you represent the kingdom of heaven your sons and daughters of father god the most high god you are going to be in you're going to feel the wrath of the horn that has a system set up against you that if you don't follow the system you're going to die you're going to suffer you're going to lose land you're going to lose your possessions your your bank accounts will not work because this system has said anybody that doesn't listen to me and follow my rules are going to suffer so if we're supposed to listen to the most high God and we're supposed to do his will, keep his laws, we're going to clash with the system because that system opposes the most high God. We know that system is coming and that system is going to be in full effect. Every 
beast that has existed has become has has passed on to another beast and to another beast Currently, in earth's history we exist in that terrible dreadful beast we have gone past 10 kings and now we're looking for the little horn to be more pronounced and to speak greatly against the God of heaven. That's what is going to be manifested even more as we move forward. Those of us that think we are Christians have no understanding that there's a time coming to the world as never seen before. You can also read that in Daniel chapter 12, right? They call it the the time of trouble, Jacob's time of trouble. So I'm not going to talk too much about it further because there are more things I want to cover. But several times in the uh, in this uh, chapter, it talks about the saints possessing the land. We have to remember, no matter what the trials and tribulations that come, including death, horrific death that we must be remain faithful to the god of heaven to the most high god to the ancient of day the only way to do that i encourage everybody to continue reading so that the information that you have read will stay in your head so even if the documents of the word of god gets corrupted or their false teachers or their people that come up with new theology, false teachers, you'll be able to resist because you have the word of God hidden in your mind. Right? Thy word have I hid in my heart, my mind, that I may not sin against you. This is very important, very key that we continue to do so and be examples, all right? No matter what happens in the future, from this text, we can read that the children, the saints of the Most High God, in the end prevail. We may not see that now, but in the end, according to Daniel 7, in the end, God's children prevail. They will sit with him, and I'm going to jump the gun just a little bit, that millennium, that Revelations talks about, where the judgment was set and the books open, is the same thing that Daniel is talking about here. That, that let me let me read the the, the part real quick. It says, um, "But the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion, right to consume and to destroy it to the end." That judgment is the same judgment being spoken about in Revelation, where it says the judgment was set and the books were open. In the end, God's people will reign. In the end, God's people will have judgment. In the end, God will win and he will rule forever. All right? We're at the end. Got to stop. Remember, share what you know share your 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 possessions with others that may have less than you alleviate stress among you build up your community let's continue working faithfully for our king of kings and lord of lords now the god that brought jesus from the dead that great shepherd of sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you perfect in every good work to do his will and working in you that which is perfect through jesus christ our lord to whom be glory forever and ever amen i'm daniel signal